Hello and welcome to VG Facts' Leftovers, a show where we explore game data and promotional material to reveal content that was cut from games. Today we'll be showing you some of the more interesting leftovers from one of Bungie's most famous and beloved franchises, Halo. The original Halo trilogy was established in 2001 with its original title, Halo Combat Evolved. It was quickly received as Xbox's big hit, which led to three more sequels and multiple spin-offs. We will be looking at the many vehicles, enemies, weapons, and levels removed from the first trilogy of games, starting off with the original Halo. The Halo franchise is filled with many beautiful creatures and alien species, and some of them didn't make the cutting board. One for example is the Blind Wolf, which was supposed to be an eyeless creature that you can mount and ride on that was going to be available in Halo and Halo 2, but was ultimately scrapped due to the difficulty to control and problems with its artificial intelligence. Another object in the original Halo that you were supposed to be able to ride on was the Doozy, a watercraft with a mounted chain gun on the back. And though this idea was scrapped, more evidence of its existence lives in the Halo editing kit as an option for human boats is accessible since Bungie built the boat function into the game engine, but was never used. Most of the scrap content from the original Halo though were weapons, which featured the gravity wrench, which is assumed to have inspired the plasma pistol, since when shot it must be first charged up and then when fired releases a powerful energy ball. Another weapon that could also be found in the code of the PC version of Halo is called the gravity rifle, which was supposed to be the Covenant sniper rifle, but was scrapped though through mods can still be used in the PC version of the game. The last weapon that was never used in the game was the machete, which would have been a melee weapon much like the energy sword in Halo 2, and is considered the inspiration for the machetes seen in the difficulty images for the game. The last and most interesting thing removed from the final game were a covenant enemy known as Keelbugs, who would fly into the battlefield, cut dead bodies into pieces, and then carry them away. This idea was used to free up memory in the game, allowing it to run faster and smoother. Compared to its prequel, Halo 2 has a lot more deleted content due to the redesign of the game. After the announcement trailer of Halo 2 at E3 2003, the whole demo and engine were scrapped due to hardware limitations on the Xbox. This caused a good chunk of game material to be scrapped from the final release. Many of these scrapped ideas include enemies such as the shielded flood carriers, which were basically a flood carrier variant with a jackal shield attached to them, the special purpose sniper which was most likely replaced by the jackal snipers, the stalkers whose concept was most likely scrapped and reused as the pure flood form stalkers in Halo 3, and my personal favorite, the Flood Juggernauts, which were Flood over twice the size of Master Chief and had extremely long tentacle arms. The Juggernaut can be seen in Halo 2 by the use of mods, allowing it to spawn in the level High Charity. When approached, it'll jump extreme distances to attack the player and even possibly land on them, instantly killing them, though most of its attacks were a one-hit kill anyways. Three levels were also cut from the game deep into production, but were considered irrelevant or just cut due to time restraints. Forerunner Tank was originally supposed to be a level to help tie in plot between the end of the level Regret and the start of the level Quarantine Zone, which would have introduced the Gravemind with his tentacles wrapping around the level and traveling through it like a train. The second level to be cut was Sentinel Headquarters, though the only thing about the level that is known is that it would have been strongly based around the Forerunner technology, the Sentinels. The last level that was cut was called Covenant Ship, which would have occurred after the first level when you jump out of the airlock. Master Chief was originally supposed to land in the Covenant Ship and take it over using a Wraith, eventually blowing it up using the Wraith to attack the ship's core. The level was scrapped in favor of a cutscene that the developers say created just as much work for the Bungie employees. Um. Sir. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Permission granted. Halo 3 also included a scrap level under the name of Guardian Forest, which would have included a new enemy known as the Guardian, which can be seen in the multiplayer level Epitaph as a hologram. This level would later become Guardian from the multiplayer maps, and a Hornet sequence from the level would be transferred over to the level The Covenant. Three extra pure flood forms were also cut from Halo 3, which included a stealth form that excelled in stealth killing, a transportation form that could carry six unarmed flood to any particular destination, and an infected form that could regenerate any of its three limbs in a matter of seconds, and also release spores into the air which could attach to nearby enemies or vehicles converting them into a flood-like form. 
The last two items that were cut from Halo 3 that we'll be talking about today are a body bag which was cut due to unnecessary details or moral issues, and the G4H-DUSH or Red and Leet speak as Gadush, which was intended to be used as a guided rocket for ground to ground or ground to air combat. And that's all the time we have here for today, but don't forget to check out Did You Know Gaming's YouTube page and subscribe to them, and check out VGFacts.com and DidYouKnowGaming.com for new video game facts and trivia posted every day. And if you're interested in finding more of my content, don't forget to click the annotation to one of my great videos.